So, a lot of people have been wondering how my poison was hitting so hard when we were doing the 4000% Glacor, and now I will show you how to do the exact same, and it's really, really, really easy. Step 1. Buy some weapon poison. Step 2. Buy some Qualm incense sticks. Step 3 and 3.5. Three and buy a Blood Reaver contract and a bunch of scrolls. Step 4. Buy a bunch of Bic arrows. Iron Man, I'm sorry. It's still really bad on that mode. It sucks. Step number five, buy a scripture of when, or if you can't afford this one, an armadillo book will do just fine, you know, with those those pages from the clues. And then after that, you can make things a bit more interesting if you would like, uh, and claim the reduced healing crystal from Morvran, uh, which for some reason this account isn't able to do, because I guess I've got to do the special Slayer challenge, but let's just pretend I have... Um, basically what that does is it reduces your healing, um, which means you can never be full HP, which synergizes incredibly well with the Blood Reaver Familiar, which I will explain a bit more in a minute. Okay, so the idea behind this strat is that you actually, weirdly enough, use Vampirism Aura as your DPS Aura. Because yeah, Vampirism heals you every time you do damage, and every time you heal, your Blood Reaver does damage. Um, and the damage that the Blood Reaver does can proc poison. So that will stack with your, your weapon poison, your qualm sticks, your cinder banes. All of it will stack together very nicely. And um, you've also got the uh, the wen book. Each little tick of the wen book will do... Uh, well, it, it can apply poison. So it's all very, very, very good together. And then when you're in the fight set, all you want to be doing is uh, basically prioritizing uh, Greater Ricochet if you have it. Uh, and then Piercing Shot, because Piercing Shot, they rec recently updated it, and it now hits twice, which is incredibly, incredibly good, because uh, it gives you two stacks of these uh, little poison hits here, and as you can see, every single hit I do, that number goes up. Uh, it caps at 400, um, and kind of how it works is, well, yeah, every stack you get, uh, the more poison damage you will do, so just hit, 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 hit. Uh, only exception is bleeds do not um, apply a hit here, unfortunately. Uh, but what bleeds can do is they can proc the poison. Um, so really you want to use your uh, your normal hits uh, at the beginning. And then when you get up to really high stacks, that's when your bleeds start becoming incredibly, incredibly potent. Other important thing is make sure you use the uh, the Prism of Restoration. That is very important because your your reaver you want to auto fire it to well as many scrolls per attack as you need. So I have it on on one right now, which is probably a bit excessive for this. Um, but basically it heals you for one thousand each time, um, which is incredibly useful. It's like uh, infinite HP, essentially. And as you can see now that the stacks get, stacks getting up quite high, where it's nearly three hundred at the moment, and you'll notice our poison is hitting. Uh, a fair bit higher now. So it's hitting like 3.7k right there, but it's still climbing. Like it gets absolutely ridiculous. So we're almost at the big 400, and the big 400 is when bleeds become uh, crazy good as well. So like stuff like you know, corruption shot, fragmentation shot, all that stuff. Very 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 useful. Um, and yeah, at this point, poison starts to become crazy, and uh. This actually would be even crazier if I had the Black Crystal, because what the Black Crystal does is it actually stops me from being able to heal um, to full effectiveness. Like, every time you heal, it will actually damage you by 25% of the heal. Um, which means you'll, you will never be full HP, which means your Blood Reaver will very happily, you know, do damage for every single hit that you do. We're now at 400 stacks, as you can see, and our poison is going to go nuts. Um... So yeah, as we don't have the Black Crystal right now, um, this is actually like a, a weaker damage version of this build. Like it would be, look, 7k poison hits, like it's ridiculous. Um, but if we had the Crystal, we'd be actually getting like significantly more poison procs. At the cost of reduced healing, of course. But still incredibly, incredibly, incredibly good. Poison is doing its thing. Notice how I haven't taken any damage, by the way, this whole fight. Because, like, Vampirism Aura and the Blood Reaver are just completely sustaining everything. Like, it is incredibly strong. And uh, it should be noted, this strat only works at bosses that can be poisoned. So that is Karapak, 
uh, Archglacial and Solak. Those are the, the three bosses that are especially good. It does work at Ambassador as well, though. So you do have a... Uh, you do have that option over there to uh, do some stuff at Ambi. And then the important thing here is we've got to make sure that we uh, uh, reapply our stacks on the boss. Because after 30 seconds, all the stacks will disappear. So just make sure at you know, varying points you uh, go and uh, attack the boss with your Bic arrows. Also, at this point at Carapac, you do want to be uh, using Wen arrows because these guys are a little, uh, little bit tanky. And obviously you won't have any poison stacks on them, so you do want to watch out for that. But just keep going over, make sure we uh, do a little bit of damage on the boss just to apply that stack. Very, very important. Uh, I am just about to lose my reaver actually, because I really messed up. Uh, yeah, I should have placed a Prism of Restoration down there, that would have been... Uh, that would have been smart. I also had the wrong arrows on for a second there as well, which is doubly not smart. And I've also messed up some other stuff. This this is not meant to be a Carapac guide, by the way. Like, I've used my uh, time warp and stuff incredibly inefficiently. But it's fine. It's fine. But again, just making sure we're upkeeping those stacks. Attacking the boss, attacking the clones. Eat some food if necessary as well. It's a shame we lost the Blood Reaver, but either way. We'll do what we can. Just going to spam some food and just hit the boss. Poison should be absolutely insane at this point as well. Obviously, it's not going to be as big because the Blood Reaver has unfortunately disappeared. Um, but the boss is almost down. Still taking like 7k poison hits from time to time, which is just enormous. And there you have it. Not too bad. And that is... Oh, I even got an achievement. Good job, me. Um, so yeah, that was like a very basic version of uh of carapac there like a, not meant to be like a carapac guide or anything but it was supposed to be a uh just kind of a showcase of how good this poison is like it works at every boss um obviously try not to let your reaver die it's often a good idea to bring a second one in your inventory in case you let it die by accident um so yeah we definitely lost a bit of damage at the end but you know hopefully you know it makes sense just Stack big, stack all the poison buffs. Um, ideally, get a black crystal as well. You do so much more damage. And uh, yeah, that is about it. So hopefully, um, you enjoyed that because I did have a lot of questions asking what was going on, and that's what's going on. So hope that helped. And uh, thanks for watching.